In this tutorial, you will learn how to use our Hebrew parsing tool. Let's take a look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. First, click on the Tools button. Once the Tools button is open, you will be directed to the reverse interlinear. Remember, in Hebrew, words are written from right to left, and therefore the first word is seen here. That word is translated in the beginning. We see that it is related to Strong's H7225. Here you have the inflected form, the root form, and the transliterated form of the root word. You can also listen to the audio pronunciation of the root word by clicking on this button here. Now you have the parsing button. And you'll notice that we have included the short code or the abbreviation for the morphology of Hebrew. Uh, we did this for those who are familiar with the Hebrew codes, as you can simply look at the button and, and know how uh, this word or phrase is parsed. Uh, for others, you can do two things. First, you can hover over the button. And by doing so, you'll notice the long form that this is written in Hebrew that it is a preposition as well as a noun that is common, feminine, singular, and absolute. If I click on the button, you'll notice that the information is also located here. Now, since this is a unique form where it is a conjunction of a preposition with a noun where the preposition is prefixed to the noun, we have the parsing information given for each of these words that have been combined. And so the first is a preposition. You'll notice that we've highlighted it. And it's related to the parsing code below, R, which stands for preposition, which is given here in this tab. So you'll notice R for this word. You'll also notice the R here, the short code. And the meaning of that short code is preposition. Now, if you hover over the noun, you'll notice that the short code of the noun is also given and highlighted below that. If you click on the noun, automatically the tab will move to the information given for the noun. We see that here. So the speech is noun, the type is common, the gender is feminine, the number is singular, and the state is absolute. So this gives you all the information that you need for this particular word. We've included some additional resources below. We have a page called How Hebrew Verbs Work. We also have a grammar called Simplified Hebrew Grammar written by Justin Alford, and this is given in PDF form. The Simplified Hebrew Grammar is much more extensive and is a very helpful resource if you are wanting to learn how to appropriately interpret based upon the morphology that's given for each word. And so we highly recommend that you take advantage of that resource. We hope this Hebrew parsing tool will be of great use to you as you study God's word.